Labor and delivery goes zero to 60. Really get like romantic comedies that much anymore. This is the first one I put on and I actually really like the way it looked. morning everybody I was actually going to start this vlog at home but ended up just kind of running out of time I had to shoot some content this morning for a collaboration I'm doing over on TikTok so um, because I had to film that I just didn't have time to say a proper good morning and introduction before I got to work but I am on call this weekend this is my first 24-hour shift for the weekend and you guys loved the last time I did this, so I thought I would do it again because every shift truly is very different. So today I'll kind of show you along and then you'll be able to compare how drastically different shifts can be. Unless then this is another crazy busy shift, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, come join me for the day. So this morning I have already gotten check out from my partner. Um, our list of patients isn't extensively long. I only have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven patients to round on this morning. I am drinking my coffee as per usual, and I just finished my pre-rounding. So I went through everyone's charts. I'm familiar with everyone. I kind of know what to expect. I know who's going home. I know who needs follow-up labs, all that good stuff and I pulled up our list of triage patients and it looks like I have two patients in triage. The nurses haven't called me quite yet, so they're not ready for me, um, but as soon as they call me, I'll be able to decide if they need to be admitted to labor or kind of what's going on with them. So usually when I finish pre-rounding, then that gives me a little bit of time to like check my emails, kind of relax, but I think today I'm just gonna go ahead and round on everyone. Everyone should be awake now, should be getting their breakfast trays and stuff like that. So I think it's a good time to go see everyone. So let's go do that and then I'll check back in. Now, before I round, I can't forget my COVID gear. So we have some COVID positive patients. N95, two different types of face shields. I think I'll wear my figs one today. continued PSAs on all of my 24-hour vlog videos, get the COVID vaccine. It could save your life and your baby's life. Just finished up my rounding. Let me sit you down. So I'm gonna chart. I'm gonna go through labs from patients I saw at the office this week. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for the next little bit. my results, my images. I signed off on everything at the office. So I'm up to date on everything. I currently don't have anyone in labor, nobody in triage. Knock on wood, fingers crossed, all the things. So I'm gonna take some time and read my book. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I love me a really good rom-com novel. And I've talked about this on Instagram before, but I feel like growing up and when I was in middle school and high school and all that stuff, rom-coms were so common. Like How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Sweet Home Alabama, all of the J-Lo movies. Like, but movies now, I feel like we don't really get like romantic comedies that much anymore. And they're cheesy, but they're so good. And there's something so like just comforting about like, you know, they're going to end up together. And, you know, they're all kind of like the same similar storyline, but there's just something so comforting about a romantic comedy. Anyway, so I have turned to reading rom-com books and they fill that void that I have for rom-com movies. Anyway, I shared recently on Instagram, I bought about six new books. This is Jasmine Guillory's latest novel. I'm obsessed with Jasmine Guillory. I've read all of her books up until now. And I'm already like, what, chapter four in this one? And I'm sucked in. It 
she does not disappoint and the covers are so cute I don't know I love reading I'm thinking about starting a book club of sorts maybe that's gonna be something to do in 2022 anyway time to relax and read which was actually really, really nice. I have now ordered some lunch. I got some Mexican food and some carne, fri carne asada fries, which I'm very excited to go eat. And yeah, I just got a couple calls, questions, following up on orders, stuff like that, but still no admits, which I'm a-okay with. I completely forgot to show my fries. I they were so good. It does, doesn't look as great right now, but trust me, it was delish. 10 out of 10. <sighs> oh my goodness, you guys. Wow. Ugh. Honestly, labor and delivery goes zero to 60. I've said it multiple times, but it is so true. One minute, I am just on the bed reading the book. Next minute, I get a <laughs> very frantic call saying that a patient is complete and crowning. So you just gotta pick up and run. I was like tying my shoes as fast as I can and just like ran out there. But everything went great. Everyone did amazing. But yeah, now time to chart all of that. Oh my goodness, that makes your heart race. That I bring with me obviously it's by figs if you work in healthcare you need this bag it is amazing it is so big so I bring my gym shoes get those out of the way I have my gym clothes these are oh, and some socks oh look perfect timing my phone rings today anyway just got a call about a triage patient but everything is going well so I'm gonna go back to showing you my gym stuff <laughs> all right so we have our gym outfit this is my leggings and sports bra all from figs just like my bag I love their athleisure line I love this color and I have a long sleeve work up top I think I'll do gray I also brought a pink one but I'll probably just do the gray one today again Surprise, surprise by Figs. These undershirts, I also work out in them all the time and they're super comfortable. So I'm gonna go change and then we're gonna go to the gym. So I'm all dressed and changed and ready to go to the gym. But of course, I get another call. There's a patient in triage. I wanna make sure that she is stable before I go and do my workout. But yeah, I'll just kind of hang out here, make sure her and the baby are okay and then we can head upstairs. And I made it to the gym. I'm about to jump on the Peloton. I'm gonna do this 30 minute 2000s ride with Cody Rigsby, which I love him so much. He's the best. And yeah, this is just our provider gym here. I love it. Everything I could possibly need. And I'm obsessed with the Peloton, you guys. So let's do it. figure out what I want to eat for dinner and take a shower. I am super thankful we have showers here because I obviously am super sweaty. 
So it is 10 p.m. I have now showered. I had one admit, so I admitted I thought I heard something <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Um, I had one admit, I admitted her, and now I ordered DoorDash, so I'm waiting for my food to get here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna continue reading my book. I, let's see, I am now, what chapter is this? I'm in the middle of a chapter. In chapter eight, so let's keep reading. Best wings and fries, Wingstop. I don't even argue with me. They have the best wings, the best fries. Their seasoning on their fries, so good. and I just woke up this was an amazing night I got one I laid down at around 11 I can't remember the last time I talked to you guys but oh my alarm hold on I laid down at around 11 p.m. and then I got one admit around 2 and then I was able to sleep so I'm gonna try and have myself a good normal day since I got good restful sleep. I'm super excited. Now I have to print out the list, prepare it for my partner who's coming in about 20 minutes, and that'll be it. I'm now driving home and had a good checkout with my partner. We were both so happy because our list census is low and we have been hit so hard since like August, I feel like it has been like, so this is a much needed break. So I thought I would just take you on my post call day. I stopped by Starbucks. I really wanna try their impossible, impossible breakfast sandwich or burger or whatever it is. Everyone keeps talking about it. Um, a guy that lives in our building, he was eating one. We were on the elevator the other day and he was eating one. And I was like, what is that? And he's like, it's the Starbucks impossible burger. It's so good. And I follow in the fro, um, Victoria here on YouTube. I've been watching her videos for like 10 years and she raves about it all the time. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to try it. Anyway, I did get something different today because I wanted it to be more festive. So I also follow Erin O'Brien on Instagram who has the best recipes. And she recommended this drink. This is a cold brew coffee with two pumps of the sugar cookie syrup and then sugar cookie cold foam on top. Never tried it before, so here we go. Oh, that's good. Why did I think it was gonna be more like, it's festive. I thought it was gonna be really, really sweet. It's really not. Mm, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna run inside. There's a European wax center near me, so I'm about to go get waxed. Here we go. I am now finally on the elevator, about to get home, and I'm so excited because the, I don't remember where the Grand Prix is for Formula One this weekend, but I'm about to go watch qualifying with Corey, and I'm so excited. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My sweet bear. Oh, bless you. I missed you. Come here. <laughs> Sit. Shake. You're so smart. You're so smart. What? Look at your bad ears. Come here. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Quit eating that, weirdo.
ended up coming home to watch the qualifying race for Formula One and it didn't even record, but that's okay. We watched part of the practice and then honestly, I've just been laying on the couch watching the OU game. I'm about to go shower and I want to go shopping today. So that's what's on the agenda for the rest of the day. You okay, buddy? All right, so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna try, I saw this on TikTok and I'm gonna try and curl my hair a different way. I'm going to divide it into smaller sections and I'm gonna use my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer and once it's like heated up, um, I'll show you what I do. Hold on, I needed to get some bobby pins, okay. Now that it's all hot, I'm going to roll it up as best as I can. <laughs> this is actually kind of hard. Then I'm going to take a bobby pin and just pin it. <laughs> We're just going to leave it like that. I'm going to do that all the way around and see if I get a good result. perfect. I think if I had those like clips instead of bobby pins, it would hold better. But just a little hairspray and let it sit. I'm going to do my makeup and then take it out. Up. It takes me like eight minutes to do it. So let's take down this hair. Let's take down this one. Okay, this, there's curl there. We can work with this. We can work with this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna zhuzh it up a bit. Well, it does give it a lot of volume. Straightener right here because I hate these pieces. I'm gonna curl a couple of these straighter pieces. Last little bit, some hair oil. And we're done. I wanted to show you my outfit. Corey and I are gonna go to the mall. Um, all of my jewelry is Beads by Tara, which I'm obsessed with, and I have a discount code, AllieRodMD. This is a click bodysuit, which I love. These leather trousers are from Zara that I got last season. I have to figure out if I want to wear sneakers or boots, probably my golden goose, I don't know. And I came over here to pick a bag to wear today. Okay, this is the first one I put on and I actually really like the way it looks. This is my Chanel 19 in like a, I don't know, dark gray. It's really pretty. All right, so the final look, I have my sneakers on now. It gives it a good, cool, casual feel. So I think I'm just gonna stick with it. Plus they're extremely comfortable. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I came to get my eyebrows laminated. They look crazy right now, but they'll look better tomorrow and throughout the week. I think I just found one of my birthday presents. <laughs> I asked Corey to open up the glove compartment in his car and there was a receipt or a little package from Dior. And I think it's for my birthday. 
Open it again. How do I open it? No. Hey, pupper. You napping? Oh, goodness. What is that patita doing? Hello, patita. Hello, belly. Hey, puppies. I got some exciting things at the mall. Oh, early birthday present to myself back from the mall and the plan I think is to just kind of have a chilled out night um probably order in do some Legos maybe I'll show you what I got at Abercrombie now I am ready to show you guys everything that I got from Abercrombie I had also ordered clothes from Zara so I'll try that on one of my really good friends is getting married in December in Iowa and it's going to be pretty cold and it's black tie so I've been trying to find Obviously something appropriate that's black tie, but also warm. I think once I find the dress, then I'll be able to look for coats that are gonna look cute over the dress um, and shoes and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. Let's start with the Revolve stuff because I'm really excited about the dresses. So this is the first one. See how it's like, a, I'd probably wear it with my hair up. It's just form fitting all the way down. I think with the hair up and some like cool earrings, this could be a whole look. Yeah, I think this is really pretty and really flattering. Like this is just adds a little spice. This is the second dress. Um, I think obviously much more simpler, but definitely more sexy maybe. The back is pretty, but again, not my favorite. I think I like the other one better. I mean, it's a really pretty dress, but it also feels simple. And I think this dress is like almost $300 and it feels not expensive. Not jersey, but it almost feels like it's jersey material. I actually really like this outfit and I'm gonna keep it. Okay, now we're moving on to what I got at Zara. I actually really like this, but I think I need to get a size small. But I think this would look really cute with tights and boots. It's like a emerald green color. Zara will forever be a hit or miss. Like this is way too short and too tight on the bum. But like, what is happening here? It did not look this way on the model. I'm not even gonna bother zipping it up because this is just a disaster. I am obsessed with the color of this dress. I can't even zip it. This is way too tight. <sighs> I understand this print is really loud, but I think this dress is really cool. I really like it. It's got these sides right there. Now this is a cute little holiday number. It is velvet. I don't love that the lines form here, but I think it's a really pretty dress. I'm not planning on wearing these together, but these I got from Abercrombie. These pants, I think they would look really cute for the office with like a nice top. And then this is a bodysuit. I'm gonna get closer so you can see it. Um, I usually love bodysuits from Abercrombie. I just don't know how I feel about this one. I wish the sleeves were longer. This is just a set I ordered from Amazon just to kind of be around the house. It is like that thermal material, super comfortable, casual, cheap. I'm gonna return almost everything, but that's okay. I really do like this set. It's pretty comfortable. If you guys want, look, there's pockets. If you guys want links and stuff, I'll try and link everything below, but 
I usually just do it through Instagram because it's faster. So make sure you're following me on there. Um, I think we're going to order some food and build some Legos. Honestly, what I need to do is spend time cleaning this room. Um, this pile of stuff is for a giveaway, which, you know what? I might as well tell you about it now. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that two weeks ago I did a pregnancy gift guide giveaway. So over on my Instagram, I created two gift guides. One for if you have friends that are pregnant, friends that just delivered, friends who are trying to conceive, all of that stuff. Um, you can find links to everything and my pregnancy gift guide and everything on Instagram and I'll link it below. But I also made a gift guide for anyone that you know that works in healthcare. So like nurses, doctors, residents, techs, scrubs, like literally anyone who works in the medical field would benefit from getting something on this gift guide. I did a giveaway two weeks ago that someone won almost everything, not everything, but a lot of the stuff included in my gift guide. And this week over on Instagram, I'm going to do the healthcare worker gift guide. Some of the stuff is particular to nurses because I think we owe so much to nurses, especially after the cluster that has been the last two years. Um, so some of the gifts are specific to nurses, but others, it's literally anyone in healthcare will benefit from it. And I'm really excited to put it together. So make sure you're following along on Instagram because I think it'll go, the give giveaway info and everything will probably go live on Monday. Before I and I ordered pizza, um, we did two little things with the Legos. It's like 7,000 pieces, so it's split up into little baggies. Anyway, we did two of the baggies, watch time at your mother, and now we're gonna go pick up the pizza and I'm taking Ash with me. Hello, you guys. Back in my usual spot in my call room. I keep forgetting, or this morning I woke up a little bit late, so I forgot to start the vlog back at the hospital. A little bit busier today than it was on Friday. We have a couple patients in labor. I have a C-section this morning, so I've already seen my patients. I haven't rounded on the other patients, but I've met everyone who's in labor and my C-section. I think it's going to be a good day. I just got to finish my coffee. Going to grab a snack before my surgery. And I think I will probably also go break someone's water just to get labor going. So a couple things to do today. Alright, finished up with the C-section. I actually have another C-section to do this afternoon. Last time I think I talked to you guys, I went and checked on the laboring patients. I broke water in one. She should be having a baby soon. Yeah, so definitely busy. I am now microwaving my little breakfast burrito. So I'm gonna do that and then work on some charts. my little breakfast burrito that I have literally almost every single morning. So I'm gonna watch a little bit of New Girl, then I'm gonna round, then I'm gonna do the section. And yeah, that's kind of what's next up for today. All right, now that I ate my breakfast burrito, coffee's all gone, I'm gonna go quickly and round on some patients before I have to go do my other section. All right, you guys. Oh, I gotta pull this down for a second. I am all done rounding, putting on my booties because we have that C-section coming up. So I gotta prepare. Everyone is doing great today. I'm gonna cut it early here just because I need to edit it and put it all together so that then I can post it for you guys. Um, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you like these videos and I'll keep making them. Let me know if there's like a certain topic you want me to cover. I know I didn't really talk about any topic in particular this time around, 
but let me know and I can cover topics in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this channel. I love sharing my life with you, educating, just putting out fun content about just day-to-day -day life. I will leave all my other social media channels down below, TikTok, Instagram, my blog, my blog that I write in both Spanish and English. I hope you guys follow, follow along on there. Make sure and keep an eye out this week on Instagram because I have that giveaway that's going to be starting this week, which is super exciting. I hope you guys learned something new today. Always remember to be kind and show love to everyone around you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.